Good morning and welcome to another edition of Thank God I Woke Up. Salute to all of my first time viewers and if you haven't already, please make sure to hit subscribe under this video and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram and the link should be right under this. So let's go ahead and get right to it. As usual, I want to go ahead and start off with prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for allowing us this time to study your word, Father God. Lord, please give us the wisdom to understand your word, Father God, and apply your word. Thank you for waking us up with the activity of our limbs, breath in our lungs, and a sound mind. And Lord, please continue to guide us through the power of the Holy Spirit today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let's get right to it. I have a great scripture to bring forth today and a couple of cross-references. So without any further ado... I want to start off by reading out of an NLT study Bible, and the scripture is going to come out of Proverbs chapter 28. The scripture reads, people who conceal their sins will not prosper, but if they confess and turn from them, they will receive mercy. So I don't know about you, but me, when I have sinned and I try to hide it or I don't tell anybody about it, I feel a guilt that comes only from God through the power of the Holy Spirit and I feel wrong for doing it. And it kind of just eats me up inside. I don't know if you can relate, but it just eats me up inside until I pray about it, until I ask for forgiveness, until I tell a friend. So let's read a couple of cross-references that will help us to understand this a little better. The first cross-reference that I want to bring forward, I'm reading out of an ESV study Bible, and it's coming out of 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. And it reads... If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So if you truly comprehend that scripture, it's telling you that if we confess our sins to God, he can cleanse us of that unrighteousness and help us feel better and not leave us feeling guilty on the inside and feeling bad throughout our day. And I have one more cross reference that will help us really understand this so that we can apply the scripture right away. And I'm going to be reading this one out of an NLT study Bible as well. And it comes from Psalms chapter 32, verses 1 through 5. The scripture reads, Oh, what joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sin is put out of sight. Yes, what joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of guilt, whose lives are lived in complete honesty. When I refused to confess my sin, my body wasted away, and I groaned all day long. Day and night, your hand of discipline was heavy on me. My strength evaporated like water and in summer heat. Sorry, like water in the summer heat. Finally, I confessed all my sins to you and stopped trying to hide my guilt. I said to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord, and you forgave me. All my guilt is gone. So I think that last scripture is awesome. It shows you that when we are being disobedient to God, when we are caught up in sin, we feel guilty all day long. We groan on the inside. Our soul groans as believers. And it really feels a lot better when we confess our sins to someone, when we have people praying for us. And most importantly, when we go to our prayer closet and confess our sins and ask for forgiveness to God and truly repent. Let's go ahead and pray it out. Oh yeah, last but not least, please make sure to hit subscribe and follow me if you have it, and the link should be right under this video. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this convicting scripture today, Father God. Lord, please continue to guide us by your Holy Spirit, Father God, and guide us by your word. Lord, help us to grow closer to you, Lord God, and Lord, help each individual who has watched this video continue to grow closer to you by reading your Holy Scriptures. We love you. We appreciate you. We would like to ask for forgiveness for all of our sins. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank God I woke up. Everybody have a blessed day.